Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It seems as though some are having issues getting Horse Ranch downloaded and installed on their computers. It first starts over on Steam. Thankfully, the Sims Direct Communications Twitter tweets our team was made aware that Steam downloads of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch are missing text strings, but two hours later followed up with the team has resolved the missing text in Steam downloads of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Steam players who experience this should be prompted to update the game. If you are not prompted, please untick the DLC in the DLC manager, then check the box again to re-download. Unfortunately, the issues weren't only limited to Steam. There are also issues with downloads on the EA app as well, but let's take a moment to pretend like we are surprised. I feel like there's an issue with the EA app almost every single time. Any sort of pack releases for The Sims 4, at least since most players have been forced onto the app. Twitter user Zen responds, the EA app is also having issues with the download. Is it fixed there too? The Sims Direct Communications responds, this issue is currently still under investigation. We're tracking it here on Answers HQ. If you are also experiencing this, please me too and submit any additional details you can provide regarding this issue. Keep in mind, these are tweets from yesterday afternoon to early evening when the past first released, but I'm seeing a lot of responses here that are coming in this morning with some simmers and players still unable to download a pack that they've played for. It's like I can understand something like this happening one time, but then every release thereafter it works fine, but I feel like we have this issue every single time. Why does a company with this much money still unable to successfully have a nice, sweet, simple launch of an over priced expansion pack. Why is it so hard? One user Mitch responding, this is terrible, terrible service. Customers with pre-order have no access still and barely any communication while customers who didn't pre-order don't seem to be having an issue. Make it make sense. I know at this point it kind of feels like those that give their money in advance have a worse time accessing the game. I've said before, honestly, I don't think anyone should be pre-ordering anything ever. There's literally no point to ever pre-order anything. Just purchase the game, purchase packs, purchase anything after it officially releases. I don't think you should ever be giving your money to a company, especially a company that is this inconsistent and dare I say incompetent in advance. Another response coming in seven hours ago, I can click the download button, but it turns gray in the add-on section while nothing happens at all when I press download in the Horse Ranch expansion tab. It says I own it, so it's gone through. This is one of the reasons why I stopped buying DLCs since Cottage Living. And lastly, another response, well, me too, already tried to repair the game and reinstall EA app before I finally found this post. Any update? And this was coming in five hours ago. They haven't mentioned anything since yesterday afternoon. It's been almost 24 hours and Simmer still left in the dark of what's going on and why a pack that they've spent their money on, they can't even access. I feel like we have this issue every single time. What is the deal? Unfortunately, the only response we got after that came two hours later at 7 p.m. yesterday. Unfortunately, haven't heard from them since, but the official EA Help Twitter has now posted about it and they have over 700,000 followers. They write, having trouble installing the Sims for Horse Ranch expansion pack on the EA app or Origin for Mac, we're working on a fix. In the meantime, click the Me Too button on the Answers HQ thread and follow The Sims Direct for updates. And people are pissed and honestly, as they should be. It happens every single time. There's no reason for this to happen every single time. Of course the game breaks the day of release of a new DLC. You people have been in the business for how long and you still can't release a DLC that doesn't break the game? Come on, man, it's been 13 hours this problem was expected, especially for a company like EA, who should have lots of experience. One user expressed that they got in touch with the online chat, tweeting, I just had to do online chat for EA for another issue and asked about the issue with downloading this and was told that the team know about it and are working on it, but are unable to give a time frame for any fix. I love not being able to use what I bought. EA's incompetence strikes again. Let me know down below what you guys are experiencing with your games. 
I'm hoping you have been able to download and play. Thankfully, things have been working smooth for me, but I know that it is not like that for everyone. So of course, I want to come on here and amplify those voices. We got to make sure that this pack and not just this pack, but every other pack in the EA app in general function properly and are accessible to everyone. So share your thoughts, share your experiences down below. If you're also having issues, make sure you head over onto the EA forums and me too, just so they are aware of how many people are also experiencing this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Take care so long and happy life simming.